we discussed about a basic ECC setup which is needed in the ECC system. That includes organizational model in ECC and EWM system, sorry, ECC, SD and ECC, SAP, MN. Now, we will also build some basic master data setup in ECC and then we will be able to start the integration between ECC and EWM and the end-to-end -end flow. I am going to maintain these master data in the system. The naming convention of the objects is also mentioned on column D. So I will be building the plant vendor as well as external vendor, a material which I will be extending to both the locations and I will also build, I will also create an external customer. So we start with creating a plant vendor. The T code is XK01. I copy the name VN underscore ZP91. The naming convention is to make sure that we have consistency in terms of fast data. The purchase organization we created is ZPOG. I give some name. This is vendor. This is just a second, guys. I got a phone call. I disconnect this and put my phone in the airplane mode. So, vendor training pl plant one. I give some name, some street address. So this is the plant rental only. So I think I should, I, I made a small mistake, I should have used the address of the plant instead of a new address. It is not an external vendor. The plant code was ZP91. So I take this address. I go back. So this is vendor for the training plant one. And I am copying the address of the plant which I will paste it. Trade payables domestic, reconciliation account, basic payment terms, the currency and terms of payment, and incoterm part 1 EXW, that is XWorks. And I maintain the partner functions that it is a vendor, it is a good supplier, it is ordering party and it is invoice presented by also. Some mistake, ordering address, okay. And I am saving this vendor. Now when we say that it is a plant vendor, I need to make the assignment with the plant code. 
why we do that we will discuss we will understand we will discuss in detail about it when we will discuss in the ewm party and title to dispose concept normally in sap ecc we make this plant vendor in terms when we do sap when, when we do stus in which the supplying plant acts as a vendor but in this case in all the cases we need a plant vendor whether it is a po whether it is an sto because this vendor will act as party and title to dispose in the ewm system so i have made the linkage in the add purchasing data tab and i assigned a plant code to the vendor code so they are same thing now only that a business partner vn underscore zp91 exist which is nothing but the plant code only so plant is now an organizational unit as well as a bp in the ecc system now i need to create external vendor so i use the naming convention vn underscore ext since it is going to be an external vendor i could have used internal number range but the association the understanding is better when we use external number range because by just looking into the object we can understand what type of object what type of data it is it is a domestic vendor vendor found with same address okay i made small change i am using the same reconciliation account on lakh 60000 payment terms this is basic ecc data you you are familiar with because we have been building these master data quite often so i have external vendor in place as well i create a material let it be trading goods and i am selecting i have defaulted certain views basic data i want to build which is like the global data independent of plant independent of sales organization i have certain sales data which i would need when we will do the sales activity we have purchasing data that we need when we want to do procurement we have certain data related to plant storage and the accounting data to maintain the valuation class and the accounting information i am going to maintain only limited fields which i need to do ewm integration i am expecting i am just assuming the weight of 1 kg 
of this material. Tax exempted, so I am putting no tax. Availability check, transportation group, and loading group. And it is MAP, so I am maintaining, let's say, one. And I save this material. Now I have two locations. One is received on dock, second is available for sale. I need to extend the material to both the locations. The T code is MMSC. I go to this T code. and I extend both my locations. In one T code, I can extend all my locations inside that specific one. I, I can extend the material to all the locations at once. Now, I need to make sure that the quantity updating, value updating indicator is in place. So I go to T code OMS2. The material type I have taken is Hava, that is trading goods. And my valuation area, that is my plan, it is ZP91. So I see the indicators they are missing, I update them. That the quantity updating should happen with any inventory movement, whether it is inbound, outbound. And when we say movement, when we say update, it is not just inventory because it's a tangible item and it has also some post, some value added to that. So if I am updating, if I am, let's say, dispatching some 10 kg of material, so my inventory is going down by 10 kg and my value also should be updated in the system because that 10 kg of material also has some value associated to that. So. I want the system to understand and to update the quantity as well as value associated with any type of goods movement inside or outside the plant. And finally, I create an external customer which I will use when I will do outbound activities. So I have basic master data in place after that. It is an external customer. And I can give some address that let's say it is Wilkinson Enclave. I go to company code data, maintain the reconciliation account and finally I go to the sales data and maintain the bare minimum information related to sales like shipping condition in quote terms. terms of payment, tax information, tax exempt and I save this customer. Now I have these master data in place. As part of the next step, I will shift this master data to EWM and I will also do the master data needed in ECC to do EWM integration. That is EWM 
related master data in ECC and EWM related transactional data in ECC. So, we will do certain config also in the next session.